Hi everybody, welcome to Japanese Cooking Lovers. I'm Yuri. Today I will teach you how to make buckwheat soba noodles. Soba noodles are very very popular in Japan and you can eat hot in soup or eaten cold. First, boil 4 cups of water, then put 2 cups of bonito and stay high heat for 15 minutes, do not mix. But you start seeing scam and uh, you have to take off that occasionally. 15 minutes later, drain dashi water. Tip is do not squeeze bonito because it makes broth not clear color and taste change. Okay, this is next part and the kaishi part where the uh, soy sauce tastes coming from. And um, I just add soy sauce, sugar, and mirin in here and I put high heat. And uh, you're gonna mix this one, um, dissolve the uh, sugar. And when once they start boiling, um, it's gonna be very quickly. So turn off the heat and don't boil too long. To make dipping sauce, you have to combine those two things together. And uh, one uh, kayashi part and three dashi part. What am I talking about here is the ratio. The one kayashi part and three dashi part, just like this. You can prepare two different way of um, eating soba. One is cold and one is hot in soup. If you want to make hot noodle soup, you need to make one part of kayashi and five part dashi. Now I prepare for the uh, cooking noodles and the time probably you have uh, indication back of those bags but I would say don't cook too long um, because soba noodles very thin and uh, if you cook too long uh, taste is not mm, not really good. It's very al dente and um, drain the water out. And very quickly, this is uh, ice cold water and put in here. And now I'm gonna wash this one. Wash soba. And you will change the water again. If you want to eat hot uh, noodles in soup, you don't need to wash uh, soba noodles or the udon noodles just like what I did. This is the end and um, this is how I decorate and of course the container is not like Japanese one but this is best that I can do here. And um, I usually put nori, the seaweed, on top of it like this. And how you eat is the sauce and um, you're gonna put uh, garnish with the uh, um, Chinese onion and I love to put uh, sesame seed over it. Well, let's do, let's do it like that. And the people in Japan like to use wasabi and put there and mix with it and like this, dip those noodles and eat. This is how you can make authentic Japanese buckwheat noodles and uh, I really hope you enjoy this video and uh, I hope that's you willing to make this one. Thanks for watching this is Japanese Cooking Lovers and I'm Yuri.